Lee. DJ Bar has come back to Las Vegas. Guys, what's happening? What's going on? A bit of madness going on here at the Barcade. I'm heading to Vegas, Las Vegas, Sin City, or as the locals like to call it, home. <laughs> so right now I am packing up, getting everything ready. I am going to be heading out there with the homies from American DJ. I'm going to be representing a DJ this whole week at Mobile Beat Las Vegas. I think it's the 22nd annual Mobile Beat. Also want to thank you guys for all the happy birthday wishes. Yay! My birthday was uh, this Tuesday. And I want to thank all of you guys who took the time out of your busy schedules to wish me a happy 22nd birthday. It was a great birthday. Check out the gifts that I got. Linda got me this Rick Pop animation. What do you guys think? You guys guys know I'm a big fan of Rick and Morty and she also got me this and I watch handy dandy box opening shank and uh, get right into this so that I can take it with me to Las Vegas there it is I'm not sure which one Linda got me but I have fat hands cuz I'm a fat individual so I don't know if this will fit my hand yeah this one doesn't fit me unfortunately it doesn't fit say what's up Linda but like I was saying we're uh, well I am going to Las Vegas Linda's is gonna stay right here and hold it down don't throw no wild crazy parties here in my crib and uh, we're going to Las Vegas for mobile beat 22 and we're going out there we're gonna hit it with the hind like I told you I'm going with ADJ ADJ is the one that's making this trip possible so big shout out to ADJ and uh, without further ado you ready you ready to hit the road here we go Las Vegas Sin City here we come bars on this way fire bye Linda take care and have a good life All right, welcome to New York International. Looking forward to meeting a lot of you guys down in Vegas. And also, cool thing, they realized that it was my birthday. So when I'm checking in, they asked me, hey, would you like to upgrade to first class? So I'm like, hell yeah. So they upgraded me to first class. I think it was the last seat available. Must have been my lucky day. So I'm really happy about that. I'm so pumped. So as per usual, whenever I fly, I like to do a Q&A while I wait for my flight. And uh, today we've done that. I've asked you guys to send me a couple of questions on Snapchat and Instagram. If you're not following me on either or, I highly recommend that you do follow me because uh, most likely we're gonna do another Q&A when I'm flying back home. How do you ask your clients for a timeline and the music list? I used to give my clients a questionnaire. I used to print out and basically tell me the timeline. I would ask them questions like, what will you be doing first? What song do you wanna play for your first dance what song do you want to play with your mom and dad what song do you want to do your crowning ceremony to what song do you need to do your shoe change with what song do you want to enter to all those kind of questions would be in that printed out questionnaire I've since switched to DJ event planner it's an online platform but it's not free but it's a great investment if you have the money to do it but if not you can just print out paperwork it's fine what record pool do you use why should I get one and how much do they cost I personally use a couple I use pro Latin remix club killers and DJ city those are my three go-to's pro Latin remix is a little bit expensive because on that record pool you have to pay per track and usually the tracks are like five bucks which is insane i hate paying five bucks for one song club killers and dj city are on a subscription base which means they charge you every three months and i think they range from between 100 and 150 bucks i'm not quite sure but it's every three months so it's not too expensive why should you have one to stay up to date with the newest latest and greatest songs and uh, you just need one if you're a dj you have to be registered in at least one music pool dj jc asks, what do you think about serato Pro. Honestly, I haven't played with it that much. I will be upgrading it. I'm actually going to retire my old MacBook Pro. Don't ask me if I'm selling it because I am not selling it. That thing has a special place in my heart. I'm just going to retire it and keep it at home and use it as a home computer. It's no longer going to be my DJ computer, but I'm going to be investing in a new one. And when I get the new one, I'm going to be installing Serato DJ Pro. The reason I don't want to upgrade to Serato DJ Pro right now is because I don't trust my computer. It's very old and it's very laggy. So it's just time to retire. What's the best way to market yourself? 
yourself for booking Sweet 16s. Get business cards, get a website, and promote on Facebook. Get video of yourself performing at Sweet 16 and advertise. You gotta advertise. So maybe if it's Facebook ads, Google AdWords, you gotta get a website. Honestly, people have told me for the longest to get a website and then I finally decided to get a website and it really did make a difference. You look more legit when you have a website. So invest in a website and if that's the market that you wanna aim for, you wanna do Sweet 16s, make it stand out that you are a Sweet 16 DJ. If you wanna work, you're gonna have to invest in advertising. What are your thoughts on the new Pioneer SB3 controller with scratch buttons? I personally think it's a great invention. I know DJ Jazzy Jeff had a lot to do with this controller and uh, I think the scratches are actually his. I'm curious to play with it myself. I know it's an entry level beginner controller, but I do wanna play with it to see what those scratch buttons are all about because I've been working on my scratching. I think it's gonna be great for the industry for guys that wanna get into DJing and don't have the money to afford turntables because if you wanna get techniques, turntables and a mixer, it's like a three grand investment. So it's very expensive and I'm happy that he came out with a nice, nice little controller, nice entry level controller for people who are interested in the actual culture that is scratching. So I think it's a pretty dope innovation by Pioneer and it's cool that they collaborated with DJ Jazzy Jeff. So that's awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe I get my hands on it while I'm at Mobile Beach. How much do you charge as a freelancing MC? That's honestly something that I struggle with. I've been playing around with a couple of numbers. I'll just tell you guys how much I charge. I've been asking for about 500 bucks and travel charges. Sometimes I give discounts. It really depends. But if you guys saw my last video, you guys saw that I'm not really into the whole MCing thing because I had a situation last year where people confused me for a party motivator than an MC, and I'm just not that guy that's gonna be out there dancing with grandma. Yeah, I have no interest in doing that. So I'm gonna cut back on actually doing MC gigs. I want a DJ. I'm a DJ. I'm not really an MC. When you do gigs, does your Serato DJ freeze or lag? Yes, it does. And I think it's an issue with my computer. I don't really think it's an issue so much with Serato DJ. My computer's been acting up for quite a while now and I'm very nervous. That's why I'm upgrading the computer because I think it's time to retire it. It's eight years old, nine years old. Last weekend when I did that Caribbean wedding, there was a point where the computer just froze. The music kept playing, but the computer froze and I was like shaking my boots because I had already lost power once there and I was like, no, I can't believe my computer's now about to like have a meltdown or crash or something like that. Luckily it didn't happen. It lagged for like a good 30 seconds and then boom, it came came back to normal, but that scared the shit out of me. So yes, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have been having trouble with that. Hey, DJ Bar, are you sponsored by any companies? No, I am not technically sponsored. Like I don't get paid by any company. Sometimes it's just a trade of, hey, we'll send you this and you make a video about it, but I've never gotten paid. Some of you guys even call me sellouts, but how can I be selling out if I'm not getting paid? But I do have connections at multiple companies like Hosa and American DJ. I'm actually going out there for American DJ for Mobile B as a brand ambassador so they're taking care of this trip so if you want to consider that sponsorship yes call it what you want but i'm not at that level yet but all right that is going to do it because uh we're about to start boarding in just a little bit thank you guys for sending in those questions and uh if you're not following me on snapchat and instagram be sure to do so because i'll be doing another one in about five days time when we're flying back from las vegas but all right it's boarding time las vegas here we go Vegas, here we come. I'm excited for this mobile beat conference and flying first class. Dope, got that upgrade, got that upgrade. I'm so excited. Welcome to a full comprehensive review of the United First Las Vegas. Yeah. Touch the plane for good luck. Yeah. Are you, are you, are you like, yeah, like a channel or something? Yeah. What is, if you don't mind me asking, what is it? It's a DJ do? bar. Here for something to drink. Uh, yes, can I please have a Coke plug? Uh, Alright, so here we are, we're ready to go, we're on the road. So we turn on watch your hair out of the door. Twice that made the seat set it up on the right foot. Check it out, we finally made it. We just landed in Las Vegas. Finally, DJ Bar has come back to Las Vegas. Yeah. 
That was so cool. I have like a love-hate relationship with United because sometimes they're really bad to me, but days like today where they just upgrade you, those are the days that I live for. I really didn't get to enjoy it because I was up the whole flight editing videos for you guys, and uh, eh, it's bittersweet. So uh, this is my room. I think I am going to be sharing it with another one of the ADJ guys. I think it's most likely going to be Jose. I am going to end the vlog right here, right now. I am extremely, extremely exhausted and have a long day tomorrow. Thank you guys for coming with me on this trip. I hope you guys are looking forward to some mobile beat vlogs. I'm going to be attempting to vlog every single day while I'm out here. And once more, I want to send a huge, huge shout out to ADJ Pure Lighting Excitement for inviting me out here to Las Vegas for the Mobile Beat Conference. Like this video if you like this, subscribe if you're new around here, Aaron, if you really want to help me out, don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified when I post these Mobile Beat vlogs. Let me know what you want me to film out here in Las Vegas at the Mobile Beat Conference, and I'll be sure to do it. Just leave some suggestions down in the comments below. Thank you guys for being awesome. Stay awesome, bros. Peace.